Hi everyone, Renee here. If looking for a 30 minute lower body workout, then you are in the right place. Today's workout is going to be strength training based. So yes, we are gonna build muscle in our lower body, which is amazing. The more muscle you have in your lower body, the faster your metabolism. So that's a good thing. Okay, so I am simply have, I simply am using one dumbbell today. I have a 15 pound dumbbell. You want somewhere between moderate and heavy, or you could totally do this with body weight. You just wanna make sure that you are squeezing the muscle we are working. So I'm gonna show you exactly the moves that we are going to do today. So the first set is a superset, the second set is a superset, and then the final set is just a single move, okay? So a superset consists of one move directly into the next move, 30 second break and you repeat that, okay? So we're gonna do each superset three times through and then our last move three times through as well. We'll be working our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads, our entire lower body. So let me show you the first two moves in our first superset. So we will be uh, using a chair. So if you have just a kitchen chair, just grab that and you're gonna want a wall nearby just for support. We're doing step ups. How we're gonna do it today. So I'm starting with my right foot on top of the chair and you want it nice and flat. Then my left hand will be into the wall. If you're holding a weight, it'll be in your right hand. You will come up to the chair and you'll simply bend and extend. And you wanna think of pushing your glutes back instead of straight down. So you wanna think of going back on that diagonal there and you're squeezing and pressing down into the chair as if you're gonna go through the chair. If you're not holding a weight, that's totally fine. You could always place your hand on the chair and kind of pull yourself backwards a little bit. That's really helpful to really make sure you're getting into the glute. And then we'll make our way down to the floor and we're gonna focus on the front of our thigh. So when we have a superset in this workout, we're doing the opposite muscle group. So you can hold the weight between your hands and you're simply going to hinge back and forward. That's it and you're gonna really feel this at the top of your thighs. Each move will be one minute and our step ups will have the right leg and the left leg will have both legs. We'll have to flip our chair around to the opposite sides for the long. That's it. Those are our first two moves of our first superset. We're gonna get started right here. I'm gonna set our timer. We have, we will then have 10 seconds to get up onto our chair. That did not work. Okay, our timer started. I'm grabbing my weight in my right hand. My left hand will go to the wall. Step up on your chair. And we have three, two, one, go. Lower and lift. Okay, so just like that, we're in this first move. So you wanna think of leaning in towards that wall, pressing into the chair with your foot, and your back leg is nice and straight behind you. And really squeeze on the way up and squeeze on the way down. So in both directions you are working here. And then you have your weight right here in your hand by your calf. If that is hurting your back, you can always place your weight on top of your thigh and still get a nice burn there. Keep going, you have 30 more seconds. And then we'll quickly switch to the other side. Yes, nice work. Keep going, slow controlled right here. We're burning out one side and then we'll switch to the other. About 10 more seconds. Yes. And if this is feeling like it's too easy, just grab a heavier weight or put even more thought process into squeezing the muscle. Okay, that's it. Quickly swivel your chair around and we're coming on to the other side. Other leg up, here we go. Yes, okay, so just like that, you're on to the other side. So you can kind of play around with motion here, with depth, to see what works best for you and where you feel the burn. You wanna make sure that you're feeling the contraction the entire time. So if you need to have a smaller range of motion, you can do so. Yes. This slight lean forward, the slight hinge forward gets deeper into your glute and less into your quad. And that's our goal of this position here. Nice. About 20 more seconds. Then we're going down into the floor into our kneeling hinges to work the fronts of our thighs. And then you'll get a little break. Yes, 10 more seconds. Nice work. My glute is on fire. I hope yours is too. That's it, okay, make your way down into a kneeling position. I'm just gonna move my chair out of the way here. I'm gonna keep my weight between my hands and then you just hinge back and forward. Okay, so you want to think of keeping a straight line from your knees all the way up to your head. Tuck your hips under, keep your abs pulled in here. Nice and tight. Right away, you're gonna feel this in the fronts of your thighs. We're evening out. The work we did in our backs of our thighs and our glutes with now working some quads. Yes, breathe through this. 
You're almost done with the first round of the first superset. Remember, building muscle, lower body is so amazing. You have less than 15, and then you get a little break. Breathe, smile, maybe you close your eyes. Yes, four more seconds. One more here. Okay, that's it. Set your weight down. Whew. Get a sip of water. You have 30 seconds. Then we're going right back into it. Okay, I'm going to get my chair resituated. Set it up for you. We're going to go back to the first leg that you started with. And we're repeating this superset second time. We'll have three rounds of this. Okay, we only have eight more seconds. So start to get up on your chair. One foot up. Weight in one hand if you choose to use it. Two, one, go. Okay, bend and extend. Okay, so remember, think of pressing your glutes behind you. Try to keep your hips squared off so that's what this hand in the wall is for. Kind of lean and press into it. Our bodies have a tendency to want to lean to the working side here, but you really want to lean and shift the other way so that you can keep your weight even. Yes. And that's, this move is amazing with just body weight because you have so much going on. You are literally squatting pretty much on one leg. Okay, you have less than 30 seconds. You're slowing this down, controlling this in both directions. You have 15 seconds. And we're quickly switching sides. Nice, second time on this leg. You're going to get a little bit tired as this workout goes on. Okay, quickly swivel your chair around and switch sides. Here we go. Yes. And just like that, we're on the other side. Okay, so I like my back leg a little bit out to the diagonal in the back, almost grazing the wall. I just feel like it gives me a little more stability. Nice work. Remember, you can always lose the weight. You could hold on to the chair. You make this work for you. You have 30 more seconds right here. Yes, remember, little hinge forward. Abs still pull up and in. Knee stays over ankle, and you're pressing and leaning into the wall. 15 more seconds. Nice work. Woo! Breathe. Focus right here with me. Couple more. Okay, that's it. Down to the floor. Okay, work our quads. Kneeling, here we go. Hinge back and forward. Yes. Okay, this is one of my favorite moves for quads. It does not take a lot of weight. Again, you could do this without any extra weight at all and just your body weight. Yes, keep going. You have just over 30 seconds, and then you'll get your 30 second break one more time through both these moves. This is a 30 minute lower body, that's all. It's all I've got for you today, and that's all that you need. Remember, you don't wanna overwork your muscles, just work them enough. And right here, put that mind to body, so squeeze the fronts of your thighs, squeeze your glutes as well, so you're really working in opposition. Keeping tension on the muscle the whole time. Yes. Okay, that's it. Set your weight down. I'm gonna swivel my chair for our final set. Get set. I'm drinking some water. We have about 20 more seconds. Then we're gonna go into the last round of Super Set One. Woo! Stop. We have 12 more seconds of rest. So I'm gonna start to get ready. My weight will go in my right hand. So remember, we're going back to that first leg. Your right leg goes up on the chair, come up, here we go. You hinge forward, lift up. Okay, so press your foot down into the chair as if you're going to put so much pressure that you're gonna go through the chair, okay? That's what I want you to think. And squeeze into the muscle of your glute and the back of your thigh as hard as possible. Lean into the wall so that you shift your weight so you're evenly, you know, even weight, Weight is evenly distributed. That's the word. Woo! You have 30 more seconds here. The words just weren't coming out of my mouth. You should start to shake that you're squeezing your muscles so hard. 
Yes. Nice work. Abs are still engaged, always engaged. You have 15 seconds. Let's do this. Maybe you slow it down a little bit. Whatever works for you and your engagement and your glute, that's what I want you to do. These work, it's all about what makes you feel good and what makes you feel stronger. Okay, we're switching sides. Final side here with your step ups. Here we go. Nice. So remember, press into that chair. You're pushing your glutes back and forward, really. Okay, of course, you have that nice bend of your knee, and you find what range of motion feels best and what range of motion gets most connected with your glute. Nice. Breathe through this. We have 25 more seconds right here. Abs are in. Yes, I close my eyes. Put that line there, 15 seconds, and then we're coming down to kneeling for our final hinge, final quad hinge here. Yes, find the shake in your glutes. Find the burnout. Take it one more, all the way up, come down. Okay, minute kneeling hinges right here, back and forward. Okay, so tops of your feet are pressing into the floor. Glutes are tucked under to protect your lower back. And you smile and you keep going. And then you're done with this round. And you'll have one minute of rest while I show you the next superset. Breathe. So we have two more moves coming up for the next superset here. You have just over 20 seconds. Maybe you don't come all the way up. Maybe you stay a little bit more in that hinge. Maybe you stay a little bit more in that burn zone. 10 seconds. You feeling this getting stronger, building muscle. So what we want to do. Okay, that's it. One minute rest. You can kind of set your chair off to the side. You don't need it for this next super set. You'll need it for the very last move though. Sip of water. Okay, so while you're cooling, while you're resting a little bit, you have 45 more seconds, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so the next move. I'm gonna go back to that first leg just so we keep kind of alternating. And you're coming into a kickstand position here, okay? So think knees are in line and you're just on the ball of your back foot and you're simply going to hinge forward, stand up. So you're keeping that same bend in your knees. Essentially, you might give a little more bend there, kind of like on the step up, okay? We'll do right and then left and then you will have a wall sit here. You want your legs in 11. Your back is nice and flat against the wall. And you can always place weights on your thighs if you need a little more. Okay, you only have eight more seconds. Grab what weight you're gonna be using. One foot in front, kickstand the other. Here we go. Yes, and you can always place your hand into a wall just like we did before. It really helps with balance and to keep you in line and to keep your hips shifted. But if you're okay with balance today, you can just place it on your hip. Your weight is just gliding up and down the front of your leg, okay? And your glutes are going back and forth. Nice. So squeeze your glutes on the way down and then squeeze your glutes in neutral on the way up. So you, want, you don't want to over tuck where you're bringing your hips way under just enough of a tuck to feel that glute engagement. 20 more seconds and we just simply switch sides. Nice. And you're coming to that nice flat back. Okay, you have seven more seconds. And then just opposite leg in the front. Okay, switch sides. Here we go. Back and forward. Yes. Okay, so once again, you could do this completely without any weight. And I want you to think of pressing your foot into the floor, just like you did on that step up. Glutes are going back and forth. You have that nice hinge in your waist. Nice flat back. You have equal weight between both feet, so stamp your feet into the ground. 25 seconds. 
Then we're going right into wall sit here. I'm gonna place this weight right on top of my thighs. 15 more seconds. Yes, keep breathing. Keep going. Glutes should start to really burn out here. Okay, come find your wall. Back into the wall, feet walk out in front of you. And then I just have my weight right on top of my thighs. Okay, so you want to have nice posture here. Think chest up. Press your feet so hard into the floor and press your glutes into the wall. So that's the motion that's really gonna fire up your legs, okay? So press your feet down as if you're going to stamp through the floor again and then glutes press into that wall even tighter, okay? So think glutes press into the wall, feet into the floor. Opposition and see if you can find that burn. Remember, the mind to muscle connection is so important. I know I keep saying that, but you don't wanna waste your time. So you're gonna get more out of each and every one of your workouts when you actually do that. So I'm starting to shake already because I'm squeezing so hard. Think of pulling up here, tops of your thighs, pulling up through your glutes, pressing down firmly into the floor with your feet. But you should be able to lift your toes. You have five more seconds and you get your 30 second break. Two, one, now slide up the wall, step out. Okay, that's there. So I, that weight was a little light for me. So I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna grab a five pound weight and place that on top just for a little bit more, okay? You have 15 more seconds. So remember, if your weight's feeling light, you can always go up. If it's too heavy, you can always go down. You have six more seconds. Get into position, so I'm just holding a five pound with my 15 to make 20. Two, one, go. Hinge forward, stand up. Okay, squeeze in both directions. If you need a wall, remember, have it there. Evenly weight distributed, glutes, are doing the action. Glutes are doing the movement here. Nice work. Breathe through this. This is already round two of superset two. So this is our second superset of the workout and this is also our final superset of the workout. 30 more seconds right here. Yes. Strong glutes, amazing. It's truly our biggest muscle group in our entire body. So the stronger, we can get there, the more muscle we can build there, the faster your metabolism. I know I say that all the time, but speeding up our metabolism is amazing. Especially as we age, we lose muscle. So we wanna build that muscle. We can prevent our metabolism from slowing down by building muscle. Switch legs. Woo, almost dropped my weights. Okay, here we go. I was trying to switch double weights in the air. It wasn't working for me. hand off just didn't go. Okay, glutes press back and then glutes press up. Keep going. It's the second time through a three. So you know these moves, get to know your body and work through them. Breathe. You've been with me for over 15 minutes. You're doing amazing. 20 more seconds, and then into our wall sit. Breathe in through your nose, and then out through your mouth. 10 more seconds right here. Pressing into the floor equally with both feet. Protect your lower spine to keep your abs engaged. That's it, okay. Whatever weight you're bringing with you, if you're bringing one, back into the wall, feet out. I have my weight between my thighs, here we go, okay. So now we talked through how to get more engagement in your legs. So now I want you to go there quicker this time. Okay, so feet into the floor, glutes into the wall. Maybe you slide down a little bit. Maybe you need to slide up. Find what works. Pull your muscles up in your thighs, okay? Yeah, it's just over 30 seconds. Start to shake. Start to press so hard. Start to squeeze your muscles that your body just has to begin to shake. 20 more seconds. You can stay with me. You just have one more round of this super set after it. <sighs> Breathe. Legs should be on fire. <sighs> yes. 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Set your weight down. Okay. That was good. Water. 
One more time through, okay? These two moves. And then our final move is coming up. Our last one is not a superset, it's just one move. Okay, we have 15 more seconds here. I'm gonna start to get my weight set up. I'm doubling up once again. So this is going to be 20 pounds for me. Could probably go up to 25, but I'm gonna stick with this for now. We have five more seconds. Grab your weight, one foot forward, one kickstand back. Here we go, hinge back and forward. So press back and then forward. Okay, equal weight in your feet. Yeah, so I want you to figure out what works best for you to feel the muscles that you're supposed to be working, okay? And if that means that you need to lose the weight altogether because they're distracting, then do so. Just over 30 seconds, and we're gonna quickly switch sides. We're in our final round. Goes by fast with your in it. Hamstring, glutes, right here. Hamstrings, the elevator to your glutes, so you wanna work them. They're the right underneath your glutes, and that's what helps to build up the muscle there. 15 seconds. Yes. Let's do this. Okay, switch sides. I'm setting my weights down this time so I can switch a little more gracefully. Okay, kickstand your back leg. Here we go. Hinge back and forward. Nice. Okay, you're here for one minute. We are 15 seconds into our one minute move here. Breathe. Smile. Tells your body you're doing something amazing. Press your feet into the floor. So make yourself grounded, secure here. Glutes are going back and forward. A little more bend of your knee when you hinge forward. You have 20 more seconds, and then into our waltzes. Yes. Nice work. You have 10 more seconds. Muscles should be screaming at you as we get to the end of this workout. Okay, that's it. Keeping my one weight, coming over final wall sit of the workout. Okay, maybe you get a little bit lower this time. Feet are about hip width apart. Your legs are making a nice 11 here. Chest is proud. Press your glutes into the wall by pressing your feet into the floor. Feel everything pull up. All of your muscles in your lower body engage. You can only hold this for so long. If you get to the end of this minute and it was easy, you're not squeezing hard enough, okay? 30 more seconds. So now if it's feeling easy, squeeze a little harder, press a little more. Keep going, 25 seconds. So each time I tell you a time, push a little harder. That's what I want you to do, okay? Yes, 15 seconds. Can you push your hardest yet? You're coming to the end of these wall sets. Can you find that shape, that burn? 10 seconds is all you've got. Push a little more, squeeze a little tighter, as if you cannot wait to get out of this. Three, two, one. Okay, one minute. One minute, one final move. Sip of water, I am going to keep with this 20 pounds here. Okay, so you need your chair and you need your wall too. So let me see. We're gonna, I'm gonna work my right leg to start because that's what I've been doing this entire time. So what you will do is right leg will go forward, we're doing Bulgarian split side, squat. Left leg will go back, just your foot is on. And then I want you to think of making 11s with your knees. So that's how you, closer to the chair, and then your glutes will go back and up, okay? So you'll still be doing that hinge there. We have 20 seconds here, and kind of play around with what feels good. The wall is there to push into once again, okay? You have 15 more seconds. I'm gonna grab my weight. So this is the only move we're doing. So we'll do right, left, 30 second break, right, left, 30 second break. And we're gonna just do that three times. Okay, so get situated. Knees are a nice 11, two, one, go. Hinge back and up. So think of sitting your glutes back toward the heel that's on the chair, okay? That's what I want you to think. So you're going back and forward with a nice bend of your front knee. Yes. Okay, glutes and quads. Glutes, hamstrings, quads, everything right here. So we're burning it out with this final move. Weights are staying nice and close to your leg. You could also place it on top of your knee if that's a little bit better, that's a little more low back friendly. Yes, 
You have less than 30 seconds on this side. And then we're quickly gonna swivel the chair around and switch to the other side so that you are leaning into that wall. That's how we protect our knees. 12 seconds. Let's do this. Glute should be screaming at you. Okay, quickly swivel, chair, switch around. Okay, switch your weights. What is up? Here we go. Back and forward. Yes. Okay, so just like that, we're on the other side. So remember, knees are pretty much in line. The knee that's the foot that's up on the chair, the knee that might be slightly behind. Hips are squared off though, so make sure that both hips are squared and you're pressing into the wall with your hand. You have 30 seconds, then you get a 30 second break. We have two more rounds of this. And then you're done. Yes. This workout's not easy, but you're tough and you're gonna be stronger for it. 15 seconds, stay present, stay in the moment. All you have to think about is getting through this move right now. Okay. Remember, you can always place the weight on top of your thigh. One more. All the way up. Set your weight down. 30 seconds. Okay, switching my chair. Back around. We've got this. Wow. Glutes, lower body. Heart rate is skyrocketing too because whenever we work our lower body, it really pumps up our heart rate because there's such a large metric group. I know I keep saying that about the lower body. We have six more seconds. Get into position here. Ready, go. Hinge back, too close. There we go. So find your footing. Yes. Lean into the wall. My hand on the wall is a little behind me. I'd rather have it next to you. It's just I have a window right here. Okay? So just so you know, I'm just gonna take it to my hip. Just takes a little more balance, a little more coordination. My chair just didn't get far enough back. Okay, keep going. Press into the standing leg. Remember, I think glutes going back toward the heel. 20 more seconds. This is already our second time through. Yes. I am on fire. I'm sure you are too. You have 10 more seconds. Keep going. Now we're gonna switch. Okay, switch your chair. Let's do this. Try to get in the right position this time. Okay, here we go. Yes, that's better. Okay, so remember, you're leaning into the wall. You're hinging back and forward. Your front knee is staying relatively over your ankle. If it goes a tad in front, that's okay. You just don't want to go too far in front to make sure that you're working your glutes. 30 more seconds right here. Breathe through this. One more round after this. Nice. 20 more seconds. Keep breathing, keep going. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. So I want you to push your hardest when we're getting to the end there. Last one. Okay, we have our final round. It's gonna be a little bit different this time, so you're gonna stay with me. So we have one minute, just like we did, okay? And then we're gonna have a 30 second quick burnout where we set the weight down, but then we pump it out with fast reps. I'll, I'll be there with you, 12 more seconds. Okay, pick up your weight. No worries, so we're actually gonna be on each side for a minute and 30. Foot up, two, one, go. Bend and extend. Okay, so remember, squeeze on the way down and squeeze on the way up. And you can play around with range of motion. The glutes towards your heel is just the direction, not necessarily the destination, okay? So your glutes are never actually touching your heel. That's just the direction I want you to picture them going in. Yes, okay. You have just over 30 seconds right here, so slow it down if you can. So I really want you to focus on the movement. 
on the quality, not the quantity in this moment. Yes, I know. So this is burning. 15 seconds, and then you're simply gonna stay in this position, but you're gonna set your weights down. And we're gonna take it a little bit quicker. I'll show you. Breathe. Okay, weights go down, and then you just go nice and quick. Down, up. It's gonna feel easy at first, but trust me, these quick ones are gonna add up. Keep the tension in the glutes still. Back and forth, you're on that nice diagonal really, okay? Glutes go back and up. You have 12 seconds, let's do this. Breathe. Three, two, one. Okay, switch your chair, switch your sides. We're gonna do this. One more side, grab your weights. You've got this, foot up. Let's go, lower and lift. Okay, minute and 30 left here. Glutes towards your heel. That nice diagonal. Wow. Don't realize how tough it is when you set your weight down. You think, wow, little break, and then it adds up quickly. That's that nice burn out there. Just nice finisher. Yes. 30 seconds. Lean into the wall. Keep pressure off your knee because you lean into the wall. 20 seconds. Maybe you close your eyes. You commit to staying here. Talk yourself into it. Don't talk yourself out of it. 15. Yes. Maybe you're slowing it down. I want you to keep the quality, remember? Couple more. Last one. Set your weight down. Here we go. Down and up. Yes. Okay, you can do it. 20 seconds, right here. Breathe, close your eyes, feel it all. 15, maybe a little faster, a little stronger, press into the floor. 10, nine, whew, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Wow, okay, just under 30 minutes of work, of strength in your lower body. Be proud of yourself. That was not easy. Let's just kind of shake it out a little bit here. Let's bring our heart rate down. Just step it side to side. Bring your feet wide. I wanna take some hip circles here. So just circle your hips, kind of roll everything out, switch directions. Just breathe in. Now alternate bringing heel towards your glute. Just kind of, you know, letting all of our joints feel good. Alternate opposite path of opposite ankle. Now let's take it outside. Yes. Let's take it behind. Whoop, stepped on my weights. Make sure your weights aren't nearby. Okay, just take it kind of side to side. Roll your shoulders back. Now let's take some standing cat cows. So go forward and back. Yes, just like that. Okay, roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward and that's it. Make sure that you are recovering, you're stretching. I have some mobility stretching videos. Take these few minutes for you. Find some deep breathing, bring your heart rate down. You wanna come back to that calm state within your body. We have stressed it out a little bit, so you wanna bring it calmly down. That was amazing. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this lower body strength workout. More strength style workouts are coming your way. Like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone.